Good morning, everyone. I have about 20 sales to share with you this morning. I'm also trying out a new microphone. You'll have to let me know how it is. It attaches to my cell phone, so hopefully things are nice and clear as I'm moving around. We're going to kick things off with this Michael Kors skirt that sold for $18. All of the prices I'm giving you are 40% off what I had originally listed them for unless my buyer countered and I will try to remember. So this sold for $18. I have so many skirts and dresses that I'm really happy this is moving. Are you in timeout, Lumpy? Why are you in the corner, Bubba? He must smell something he likes over there. Next up was this Liberty of London tie that sold for $14. I think this may have been a bins pickup. I have, I have it written down as a $2 buy-in, so maybe even a yard sale or something. Here is another $22 sale. This is a Vineyard Vines uh, sweater, size extra large. We have it listed under men's. I think it's men's. That is heading out. This is part of a bundle that I just happened to see when I was going through another bin. This Paul and Joe Paris. This was a nice bundle that sold for $120. It's so nice that we have inventoried all these shoes but I have a pair of fit flops that are in that bottom box. So I'm going to grab those. So organized though. I love having my shoes inventoried. That was quick lumpy. These adorable little fit flop Mary Jane shoes sold for $22. And I'm happy to report that I retrieved them in less than 30 seconds. In this little package is a Lululemon tank top. I believe it's called Long Breath. This sold for $22. My little piles adding up here. Oh, also, I think I did $4.80 in sales on Saturday and about $77 on Sunday. My goal for this month is to not have a no sales day. I had 12 in the month of February, so had to run the sale and kick off March with a bang. I love this little Vans rugby. It's got a little strawberry here. This sold for $16. Um, I don't remember where I got this. <laughs> Assume that all of my buy-ins were $5 or less. I don't think I would have paid a lot for Vans. Sorry, my heater's on if it's a little loud. It's chilly down here. Okay, next up is this T. Alexander Wang jacket. I had this listed for so, so long. And um, this sold in the bundle. And I should mention that this particular bundle, the 40% off offer, I can't remember what it was, but my buyer counted, countered the total was like, 238 and they countered with 120 so this is a 50 percent off bundle with their counter which i accepted also in this bundle is this nap sweatshirt i was really really excited when i found this sweatshirt and then comps were a little mixed i mean essentially this was like 30 dollars per piece which is not bad the paul and joe and the nap t alexander wang and then there's one other piece I'm right back to the same bin for the very last piece in this bundle. This um, organic blazer has been with me. Oh gosh, I will write it on the screen. John Patrick. These are all really good brands that this person bought, but for whatever reason, a lot of these have been sitting for such a long time. Oh my goodness, I remember being so excited when I found this sweater. Um, this brand is called Banjo and Matilda. Um, I found this outside of Boston at a shop that used to be my absolute favorite. And now their prices are through the roof. I never go. But Banjo and Matilda. I don't know if you can see that tag. It's this beautiful sweater. I had it priced at 70 something. Um, and then I must have sent out comps in the 30s and somebody countered at 28. And when I looked at their offer, it looked like this. I had so many offers that had gone back and forth and I knew it was just time to let this go. I actually posted about this on my stories. So that went for $28. Okay, so Tina arrived and I ended up not sharing any more of my sales from that day, but it was a really great weekend with my 40% off sale. I wanna show you some sales that sold over the past couple of days that are heading out right now. First up are these Ace and Jig pants. I was so excited about these. Found these in Boston, paid about five or six dollars for them. They're a size extra large. They're like corduroys, orange and like rust colored corduroys. They sold for $95. I had them listed for $120 and I received a $95 offer on them. I got lowballed on these so many times. So many people offering me like $30 or $40 and I held out. I couldn't believe the comps. So yeah, glad I held out on those. These John Fluvogs, oh my gosh, this is the star of the day. 
when we were at the bins in Boston, Kim was like bringing over just armloads of boots and I was like going through them. She loves to get down and dirty in the bins. She brought me over these Fluvogs and they are just fantastic. The name right here, he's kind of known for his wildly funky heels and unique styles. It's like artwork. Anyways, I listed these for $325, I believe, and I got a $250 offer. Both of these sold on eBay and they're both paid for, which I'm grateful for. These Allbirds sold really fast. I don't think all Allbirds are created equally. I'm gonna be talking about Allbirds in an upcoming video about brands or styles that I'm leaving behind or taking with me. This is something that was a good pickup. Look, they were $6 and they were in pristine condition. And then this Harry Potter Slytherin um, cardigan sweater from Torrid sold really quickly. So they put these my buyer put these items in a bundle and offered me $79. I want to say it was like 30% off. Um, yeah, I was happy with that. Happy to move these. I think I paid five or six for this and six for that. So definitely a great profit on that. And then that same day we got that Slytherin. We picked up this Abercrombie & Fitch Soft AF. So nice, this flannel. I don't pick up all Abercrombie, but this line tends to do pretty well. Um, listed it for $32 and sold for $25, which I was really happy about. We're heading into spring, so I wasn't sure if I was going to end up holding on to this. So I'm happy it sold so quickly. All right, let's head to the thrift store. Just got to Savers. I'm going to do a little challenge again, like I did the last time. I had a little car haul for you. I think I have about 40 minutes. I'm going to try to get three items and spend no more than $20. A viewer suggested th suggested this, two, three, four. $20, three items in 40 minutes or less. Let's see how we do. And then both of my boys are coming home tonight. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna run over to the grocery store and get some stuff to make some calzones for them because they're gonna be home late. So I wanted to get something that um, I could just make in advance and leave on the counter and they can heat up. And Jay's traveling and he's coming home tonight too. All right, let's go. Okay, time check. It is 1.45, so I'm gonna try to get out of here by 2.30. All right, I have a few things to show you that I left behind. These were cute lilies, but a very, very small size and very, very short. I left those behind. Just wanted to show you some of the pricing that they have. $11.99 for a pink Victoria's Secret, Secret sweatshirt. Some of the prices were just super discouraging today. I had to show this little Penn State sweatshirt. I used to always pick up Penn State stuff, but now my youngest Penn Stater is graduating, so no more Penn State gear for us. We have so much. I absolutely loved this bag. I was looking for me. It was such a soft faux leather. I looked up some comps, and it was like 12 to $20. But in hindsight, I thought it was so cute. This would have been a fun little bag for myself. Little Chanel vibes. There are some comps here on the screen. Such a pretty bag. Here is a really beautiful bag. Um, this brand, I believe, is sold at Anthropology. I love all the detailing on this. It's boho, it's summer. The shells were beautiful. If you can see, there's like this gold metallic trim. It was $9.99. I did have a 20% off coupon. So this is definitely a contender to come home with me. I thought it was beautiful. So here is the brand Antique Craft. Okay, looking at some shoes, I'm kind of tempted by these Steve Maddens. I think they're really cute. They're in great condition, um, but it actually, they look like they're new. They were $12.99, and once I looked at comps, I just had to leave them behind. Um, and I've mentioned this before, it's really hard to run comps in the store. That was a Cape Cod sweatshirt. I do so well selling Cape Cod sweatshirts, but that was extra pilly, and it was a smaller size, and it wasn't my favorite style. I love checking out the sweatshirts. This was a really nice free people sweater. Super, super pilly. I, it looked pillier than this in person, but I did love the color and the style of this, but I left it behind. $11.99 for Lucky Brand. I really like the style of this, but all that threading was coming undone, and so not for $12. That stayed right at Savers. Here are some Gola shoes. I've never sold these before, but Sambas from Adidas are really popular right now. So this looked like a 
trendy style. They were $16.99 and the comps just didn't warrant the pickup. I absolutely loved this dress. I love the pattern of it. Great for summer and spring coming up. It's like that baby doll style. So cute. The price was right. Someone who recognized me was so sweet came up and handed me that cape. I haven't run comps on it yet, but I just thought it was so pretty. This was a shacket that I picked up for my son, Anthony. And then we're gonna head out to the car and struggle with my microphone again. All right, I'm still working out how to use my little microphone here. I struggled when I was in Savers. Maybe I'll just clip it right here. I've also I've gotten a bunch of inquiries about this um, Lululemon oversized scuba hoodie. I will leave a link for it in the description. I have been living in it and I keep meaning to talk about it. Um, it's not looking very flattering right now, but I love it. I ended up spending $36.46 and I purchased five items. I definitely blew the time today. I was just in slow motion. I've been in slow motion all day. And while I was in there, it was the same. I did have a 20% off coupon and I did buy something for my son that was $12.99 before the discount. So I ended up getting four items and spending about $30. We're going to start with this bag. It was priced at $9.99. Look at the detail on this bag and the shells right here. This is like the perfect summer tote. The brand is Antique Craft. This is a controversial brand. I feel like I've looked it up and seen really tremendous comps and then gotten things home and was like, why did I get this? This was just as much a style-based pickup as it was a brand pickup because I just think this is fantastic. I think this would do great in a live show. I also think it would photograph really well. So this cost $8. I know that Anthro has carried this brand. I don't know if this particular piece was sold at Anthro. Pretty pumped about this. The reception is so bad in there, it ends up being very difficult to shop because there are moments you can get reception and then I can run a comp or I can look up, you know, even the retail value of an item, but I have to be at certain parts of the store. And that coupled with the prices that are just so high have been making savers a really tough place for me to really enjoy the experience. I always manage, it's close to me and I can always find a handful of things, but it just seems to be not even comparable to what I get when I'm closer to the city or just not at Savers. I feel like it's a really tough place to shop these days. Uh, this is one of the items that I took a chance on because I couldn't get really any comps and it was in beautiful condition. It is a cashmere sweater by Diane von Furstenberg in a size small. This could work for spring. Metallics are in, but kind of quiet luxury metallics is what I'm going for. It's a designer label that doesn't always do so well, but still it's in beautiful condition and it was $7.99 with discounted, not discounted shipping, $7.99 with 20% off discount. It's almost like Tiffany blue, a little lighter than that, but it's gorgeous. It's a size small. I would be happy if I got like $40 for this, list it between 50 and 60. I could be way off on that, but we'll look inside. This is another thing I picked up just on a whim. So this dress so reminded me of a dress that I picked up when I was in Boston. My girlfriend Kim found it when we were looking um, for Barbie inspired clothing. Um, this looks so much like that dress and I wasn't going to get it despite the price being so low because it just has three stars here. I don't know what that means but then I looked at the tag and it's made in Italy. So I'm like, this can't be bad. I mean, $6.49, 20% off of that. This I think would also do well in a live show. I'm not sure about the size. I took a chance on this because I really love the colors for the spring and the summer. I think it's beautiful. Let me know if you would have picked this up. 100% cotton production in Italy. And that's it. I've never picked up anything from Jacques New York. It was $12.49. This is like a shacket. It's just beautiful buttons right here that the corduroy lining on the inside here it's got pockets here soft on the inside it's a poly wool acrylic blend so if Anthony doesn't want this I'll know today because it's going to be home late tonight I have to pick him up at the train and then this I have to say a big thank you to Victoria. I met a viewer. Her name was Victoria. She's no longer reselling, but she had a really great eye for things. And she found this alpaca cape. 
and it's just gorgeous. You guys know how I feel about alpaca. It was made in Peru. It was only $7.99. We're heading out of this season, but this was just too good to not bring home with me. This is like a little attached scarf. It's a cape. It's got these beautiful colored buttons. This is just classic. The condition is absolutely gorgeous and cost about $6. I would feel comfortable selling this on any platform. It's quality, it's lined, just beautiful. So maybe I will try to get a picture of it on a mannequin or something for you. It's 100% alpaca. The brand is Simply Natural and it was made in Peru. I didn't think that was bad at all for $36. And if you take out Anthony's, with the discount, his was 10. So really I spent $26 on four pieces, an alpaca piece, the dress made in Italy, the bag and a cashmere sweater from Diane von Furstenberg. I was there for over an hour. I went a little over budget, a little over time, and I got four pieces instead of three, but limiting myself to a goal of three or four items when I go thrifting now has really been a great exercise in discipline for me. You wanna run some comps with me? You're gonna be a good boy. We gotta look up what all this stuff is worth, okay? No. Lumpy and I are going to run some comps here. I came in the house yesterday and looked into this cape. The results are unbelievable. I can't take any credit for this because Victoria gave it to me. I just love this material so much. Anyways, this is a sold comp right here. $200, Simply Natural Alpaca Cape. This is the exact piece that I have, except this is new with tag. If you look here, you can see that the retail on the Macy's website is $384. This is the gray version. This is a listing on Poshmark currently, which we know doesn't always mean anything, but somebody has it listed on Poshmark for 306. Here on eBay is a tan one that sold for $95 from the UK. I mean, the comps are really promising on this. Am I missing anything else? Sold for 200, listed for 300, comps on eBay for 200. The retail is $384. I can't believe she gave this to me. Um, I'm so grateful. I will probably list this, I guess, around $199 and see how it does. It's in beautiful condition. It's fully lined. You can, you can see right here on the bottle, it has this attached scarf. I mean, what a score. I can't even believe this was given to me. So here is the bag that I bought antique craft brand new 34 dollars. that's not the greatest uh, mine has the shell and the tassel 36 42 12 dollars that's not very good 45 i will probably list mine around 45 well 50 50 50 mm -hmm. more for 50 maybe i'll list mine around 50. I don't know how old these listings are. It's such a pretty, pretty bag. I absolutely love that bag. When I got home, I took a Google Lens photo of my Diane von Furstenberg sweater, and this is the only one that popped up, um, but it was sold for $55. So I think I'll probably list it for 75. There's none other listed that I could find. Uh, which in some cases can be a good thing if it's more of a rare piece. For the money that I spent, $26 if you're not including what I bought for my son. Potentially $150, I think, on that cape. Potentially even say $100 to be conservative. $50 on this, maybe $30, $35 on the bag. Uh, the only thing I really couldn't find anything on was the dress with the three stars. Um, I haven't looked too, too hard, but I like that dress well enough that I think it would do well on whatnot, despite not having a brand. So that might have not been the best pickup. Let me know if you know anything about that brand. But that is it. I just wanted to come in and show you some of the comps on these beautiful pieces. Limiting myself does really help me be selective. I'm going to take these off because the glare is so bad. It's Friday night now. I didn't get this out as soon as I wanted to, but I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. I will be back soon with another video. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more from me and hit the bell notification if you'd like to be notified 
when I upload a video. So thank you guys all so much. I'll be back real soon. Bye.